welcome to Essential Gaming and today what we're going to be doing, we're on Forza 4 and we're going to turn this 205T16 into an absolute Greek boot monster. Now some of you may know that this absolutely dominated the rally scene and also dominated the hill climb scene but I'm going to turn it into an absolute rally monster because currently it is winter in Forza 4 so I thought why not show a snow drifting rally car that is going to be great in all events even if you stick tarmac tyres on it or snow tyres. So let's kick back into the customization and let's see what we can make. So there we have it. That is the car that we have made quickly thrown together. I may download a quick wrap on this car just to see what we can have rather than the standard thing. The reason why I have left the standard Peugeot wheels on, I just feel like they, they look a lot, lot nicer than a lot of the other wheels that you can slap on this car. Now, the front headlights and the the actual air vents at the top are fours as they're not the standard Peugeot one. We have managed to get this up to 512 brake horsepower. Now, the 0 to 60 is saying in 2.9 seconds, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now, imagine that on a rally track, just racing rounds. We're going to pay for this and install the setup there. Now we could change the engine to an inline four turbo rally, I think it was, but I don't really want to do that. I want to keep the stock engine, try and keep the heritage of this car as much as we can. Um, so let's get back and look at the wrap that we can put on this, see what people have done. Come on. No, I am not sticking a too fast, too furious wrap on this car. There we go, this is what we're looking for. The Group B rally. Uh, and we've got the Wales rally as well. Um, they are very similar. I do like that red ball right there, that Forza, Forza livery it's called, that red ball one does look very cool. But I think I want this one. I love the sound of that. Oh, you can hear the turbo actually spooling up, big spooly boy up front there. See what it's like on the open road before we hop into any kind of race. The grip feels like it is there. If I want to just, whoa, good, oh, it drifts well, I'll give it that. Uh, let's see what, it's, see what it's like, we're going to throw it in really hard, because I'm used to, I actually currently drive the Ford Fiesta Rally on this game, I can't think, I think it's a WRC2 car, but I've upgraded it so it is quite fast. And that is what I'm used to, and that grip is absolutely insane. Now this, it's different, it's, it's a more open approach, I'm going to say. This, this wants to slide more, it doesn't want to be planted as if you're on tarmac. Standard because I tuned that focus, the Fiesta I was talking about, and that only hits 130 because it is currently set to just absolutely launch it on acceleration. There's a 22B in front of us. There is also, there we go, oh no, there is an old Subaru there. I think it's a blob, I can't really see it, with a hideous ring on the back. Right, let's keep it powered, power, power, power. I don't know what setting I have this on, I have not played Forza in ages, the last time you saw me play Forza was on an Xbox One, but this is currently on PC, so the graphics should look a lot better. Uh, lot of slide, lot of slide, keep the power in, what's up front, I think it's a Quattro up front. I have got the Quattro version of the, the full Group B spec, where the turbo is, the lag is absolutely ridiculous, same on the stock cars, so it's turbo lag, turbo lag, and then boom, gone. Like the F40, absolutely ridiculous turbo lag. Let's keep, I don't want to hit him. We're going to try and keep this as best as we can. We're drifting there, we're taking it out. The Subaru is catching slightly. No, we've pulled away again. The turbo, absolutely taking us. Handbrake. Oh, come on. Wheel spin, there we go. In the rear view now. The rear view on this game is a bit weird how, it's, how it does look like it's a lot darker than it actually. Ah, we actually clip a bit of a wall tap there, big wall tap here, I can feel it. Oh, he's managed to get back in front. As long as the Subarus do not get back in front, I think I should be okay to overtake this Audi. We have got three laps and we are coming up to lap two, so if I can get past him before the finish line, I know if I do slip up there, no. Right, we're gonna have to put some gap in between me and this Audi. Brake hard, brake hard. No, I'm not going to be able to do it there, I'm not going to be able to do it, I'll lift up. There we go, oh, he can't get the power down. There we go, managed. There we go, water splash. 
So I'm hoping that we can get enough gap in between that last corner. Why I'm wall tapping everything. I love the interior of this thing. It looks absolutely incredible. I think what it would be cool if Forza did make the instruments movable. So as you're driving around it would go up the miles. But other than that it is pretty cool. It absolutely looks fantastic. That is my horn. I, I need to change it but I'm loving the Windows XP shut down. There we go, keeping it all the top on the wall there. Let's see how fast we can get down here. 130. We'll get that 140. Four plumbing on the brakes. This is the big handbrake. Here we go. No tapping on the wall this time. He pulled a lot of space up to me there. But he's not having it. I'm making sure that this is my lead and I'm keeping it. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. There we go. He is absolutely flying around corners. So that could be a car to choose as well. If you do not like this car, definitely switch up to an Audi Quattro because that seems to be on me all the way around. Brake hard, brake hard, brake hard. Now this is a switch up from the usual Need for Speed that we're doing because I feel like I have actually completed Need for Speed and I feel like the game's kind of died out They're not adding anything else that's, that's making me want to play it. So I thought, let's get Forza downloaded. 80 gig of big game downloaded. I might even do some co-op if you want. Hit me up in the comments if you want to do co-op. We could even just do the normal where you challenge each other to on the spot races. Anything you want, just hook me up and we'll try and get it done. Come on, come on, come on, keep that power down. I currently have 5 million because I hadn't been on the game in over a year. Um, and I came on and I had close to 50 super spins, 10 normal spins. And then from all them I got loads of XP which gave me more spins and more spins. So I managed to get a lot of money just from 3 million just off doing spins. And I probably unlocked about 10 or 15 cars. And the same again for emotes and clothes. Took a different approach that time. I wasn't handbraking it all the way into the corner. And the power again. Uh, we hit the wall big there. We hit the wall big. Let's see if we've lost anything. We have smashed the window. This car looks absolutely fantastic. Let's finish it off. Come on. That Audi. It's on me. It's definitely on me. Here we are. Smashed it. There we go, the car is all done up, it has reset itself, and it is absolutely fantastic. I would definitely suggest getting this car if you have enough money Someone to put into it. A car so I would definitely, definitely get this car. Weird, right? Absolutely insane, it's especially in the current car, right? winters when it's switching to spring. We may do another video, we may do another car on what is best for spring, but for, for definitely in winter, I would definitely get this car. I've been into gaming, please surely hit that like button, press that subscribe button if you want more videos, and comment below if you do want to play online with me.